Creo Elements Direct Modeling 20.4 provides improved standard compliance for surface finish symbols. Opening the surface finish symbol definition user interface, you can choose between the standards that are supported out of the box that now include an additional entry for ASME Y14.36-2018. The number of indication rows, A1, A2, A3 and so on in the symbol, changes in accordance with the chosen standard. You can now define values in up to three rows when the 2002 version of the ISO standard is selected and up to five rows when ASME Y14.36-2018 is selected. By default, rows 4 and 5 are hidden in this case. Check the Additional Surface Finish Rows checkbox to enable them. You can also place surface finish symbols onto geometric tolerances, dimensions and dimension reference lines. When you place a surface finish onto a dimension, highlighting will indicate a snapping condition. Upon placement, the surface finish symbol is automatically aligned with the dimension. Change the symbol location value in the drop-down to toggle between a placement on top or to the right of the dimension. The surface finish is automatically grouped with a dimension and it will follow it. To ungroup and change the surface finish symbol reference again, use the Change References command. This will ungroup the surface finish symbol. It can then be positioned or deleted independently again. If you place the surface finish symbol on the dimension reference line, it will maintain the, a placement position relative to the dimension text when the dimension moves. Surface finish symbols can also be placed and attached to geometric tolerances where they behave in a similar way. Surface finish symbols placed on dimensions that are not oriented horizontally inherit the dimension orientation. They follow orientation changes when moving the dimension as well as changes to the dimension text orientation definition. These enhancements enable users to create production drawings according to more recent industry standards.